Hello, everybody. My name is Sharice Manukian, and this fall, I hope you'll vote for me for city council. I have a vision for this city, and I hope you'll join me in creating a better Burbank. I want to take this opportunity to tell you a little bit about myself and my plans for the city. I was born and raised right here in Burbank, just two blocks from downtown. After graduating from Burbank High School, I went on to receive my degree in economics from UC Irvine. Studying economics taught me the importance of finances and community building, and I hope to utilize this knowledge to better our city. I currently work as a substitute teacher with Burbank Unified. I teach students at Burbank High School, John Muir Middle School, and Miller Elementary. Working with these students has given me a really good look at the future of our city. And while I'm proud to say that the future is incredibly bright, there are improvements we can make to ensure that it is even brighter. But before we can talk about the future of Burbank, we need to address what's happening right now. The pandemic has created an economic disaster for our citizens and our businesses. Families are worried about losing jobs and getting evicted. We cannot let that happen. As your city council member, I will extend the moratorium to keep families in their homes. Our small businesses are also suffering. I will work to put a pause on rent payments for these businesses to ensure that we never lose the heart and soul of our community. Beyond the pandemic, I will ensure that policies are designed with the people in mind. Implementing ideas that protect small business owners, renters, our POC community, and the environment. Elected officials are there to serve the will of the people. And that is exactly what I intend to do by being transparent and listening to the needs of the community. For the last five years, I've been a scout troop leader, teaching young girls about the importance of community involvement. And while I love helping my community at this grassroots level, it's time for me to make a bigger impact on the place that has made me who I am today. I love Burbank, and right now, our city needs help. I'm not just here to say the words, I'm here to turn those words into actions. I hope you'll consider voting for me this November. Thank you. I'm Linda Besson, and I've lived in Burbank for almost 30 years. I love our small town feel and strong sense of community. We've seen a lot of changes in Burbank through those decades, but we've never gone through what we're going through now. We have a health crisis, an economic crisis, and our way of life has been totally upended. That's why I'm running for Burbank City Council. I've seen city councils that are effective and those that are dysfunctional. Now is not the time for dysfunction. We need a city council that understands that doing things the way they've always been done doesn't work anymore. When COVID-19 came to Burbank, our city council said it's not our responsibility, it's all up to the city manager, and then they didn't meet for over a month. During that time, we didn't know where to buy food, where to go for medical care, and what we were and weren't allowed to do. We came together as a community and took care of each other, but our well-being, the well-being of our families, friends, and neighbors should never be ignored. I'm running for city council because we need new ideas and new energy. We need to do more to find ways to build affordable housing and fight traffic and end racism in our community. We need to take more action to support our small local businesses that are the backbone of Burbank. We can bring data and technology to Burbank to increase transparency and efficiency. On City Council, I'll make sure that all ideas are considered that can improve the quality of life in Burbank for everyone. I'm not part of the Burbank establishment. I'm not part of a big political party machine. I'm retired and I'm a volunteer president of a domestic violence shelter. My career was analyzing medical malpractice cases to decide whether they should go to trial or be settled. Those decisions directly affected people's lives and I made sure they were done ethically and thoroughly. I'll bring that same sense of responsibility to Burbank City Council. I'm a longtime Burbank resident who loves my city and wants to make sure that it is strong, vibrant, modern, and supports our entire diverse community. My campaign is being run by completely volunteers 
who, have, who are also longtime residents of Burbank. We are a true grassroots effort that understands that this is the moment that we stand up and get involved in how our city is run. My name is the first name on your ballot. I'm Linda Besson. My website is bessonforburbank.com, and I would be honored to have your vote for Burbank City Council. Hello, my name is Nick Schultz. I'm a resident of the Rancho neighborhood, and I'm running for Burbank City Council. I currently serve as a Deputy Attorney General with the California Department of Justice, where I prosecute human and labor trafficking, public corruption, and various forms of financial fraud. As a dedicated public servant, I know how hard the job of a city council member is. And for that reason, if I have the good fortune of being elected to serve as your next council member, I have no doubt in my mind that I'll be ready to go, ready to roll up my sleeves on day one to tackle the issues that will be facing Burbank tomorrow and for the years to come. I'm running for Burbank City Council because I want to help restore what we have lost as a community, but also to ensure that we build back from this crisis better and stronger. We all know that Burbank is facing an unprecedented public health and economic crisis. The harm inflicted upon our small businesses, the entertainment industry, and our airport, and the workers that depend on those industries for their livelihood is immeasurable. We need to face the challenge of how we safely reopen our local economy with diligence, with creativity, and with a new voice and fresh perspective to tackle these issues. My job if elected as your next city council member, is to bring good, new paying jobs to Burbank. Jobs with benefits, jobs for our workforce that is here, but also for the people that aspire to call Burbank home. And to do that, I would create the Burbank Economic Recovery Task Force. That task force would be comprised of representatives from the small business industry, entertainment and production studios, retailers, organized labor, the working class, and members of our food, beverage, and hospitality industry. This task force would be directed to design, implement, and create a comprehensive economic recovery plan that is specific to the needs of Burbank. I love Burbank. I love the community spirit, the unity, and all of the natural characteristics of our community that makes this such a special place to live. I'm running because I want to make sure that one day our children inherit a city that is safe, affordable, livable, and sustainable. If elected, I'll fight to add affordable housing units to our city, make the necessary transportation infrastructure investments that we so desperately need, and lead the charge for climate recovery. You can read all about me and my plans at www.nickforburbank.com. But once again, my name is Nick Schultz. I'm running for city council, and today I humbly ask for your vote on November 3rd, 2020. Hello, Burbank. My name is Constantine Anthony and I moved to this city in 2004 to work as a union actor in television and film. I left the industry in 2012 when my son was born to focus on my family. He was diagnosed early on as autistic, like me, so I spent a lot of time giving him the tools to overcome the obstacles I faced growing up, including financial instability, homelessness, and even domestic abuse. But I survived those struggles, and I'm stronger for it. So I'm here today running for city council to give hope and optimism to so many of our fellow neighbors who are still struggling. I want to fight for you by tackling the housing crisis here in Burbank. With a 20% affordable housing requirement on all new multifamily construction deed restricted to 55 years. I want to use all $8 million generated annually through Measure H to help our nearly 300 homeless Burbankers living in our parks, behind our libraries, under our freeways. I was homeless once, and I lived in my car right here on the streets of Burbank. People need help. Working families also need more money in their pockets. We need to raise the minimum wage on our biggest employers and cut taxes on our small businesses, while simultaneously raising taxes on big corporations like Walmart and the all-new 16-acre Amazon distribution center being built just north of the airport. That way we can assist our school district in fully funding our public schools. Lastly, we need to enact the Green New Deal right here in Burbank with a 100% commitment to renewable energy by the end of the decade. So please join me and our growing list of supporters by heading to ConstantineAnthony.com.
You can see our endorsements like the Burbank Democratic Club, the Democratic Party of the San Fernando Valley, Stonewall Democratic Club, R. L. Miller, the chair of the California Democratic Party's Environmental Caucus, and local activist and community organizer Janet Deal. You can also make a donation on the website, unless you're a developer. You see, I'm the, the only candidate in this race refusing all contributions from developers, landlords, realtors, corporations, and fossil fuel executives. I'm also the only renter in this race, and I co-authored Measure RC, Burbank's upcoming rent control initiative on the ballot in November, so be sure to vote for that too. And if you want to be USD parent, I'm right here. You can vote for me, Constantine Anthony. I'd also be the first ever graduate of Leadership Burbank to serve as council member. And as chair of the Burbank Transportation Commission, I have the experience ready to lead on day one. Thank you, Burbank. If you're watching this video, that means you care about our city. And you want to know if I care about our city as much as you do. I lived in Burbank for 21 years and raised my three kids here. Our kids are our future and I see their struggles and how we can improve our city for them. Just a few days ago, my 16-year-old daughter was riding her bike near Burroughs and was hit by a car and broke her leg. My son has also been hit by a car on his bike. We need safer travel for our kids and bicyclists, and we need to reduce speeding on our roads. A good friend of mine, he is struggling to find an apartment for his family because he can't afford the increased rent. And my 22-year-old son, he isn't sure if he can live in Burbank after he graduates college. Another friend of mine is struggling to find senior housing. We need more housing in Burbank and housing stability. And on Magnolia Park, I have a number of friends who are struggling to keep their businesses open during COVID. We need to support our businesses. They are the backbone of our community. These issues and more are important in our city because our city is special. We are the gem of the valley. We have so many things in Burbank that are wonderful our Parks and Rec and our library, our fire services and our recycling center and our BWP, for example, our social services and our nonprofit services that support our community, and our wonderful high quality schools, and of course, our small businesses that support our economy. We are a multicultural, multi-generational city, and if we come together with our diverse experiences and perspectives, we can work out these issues together. We can increase our housing and availability with, in ways that are, that are a good fit for our community. We can reduce our greenhouse gases and waste in financially feasible and innovative ways. We can make sure that everybody in our community feels safe and respected. We can help our businesses get started and help them stay open. And we can make smart decisions about our economy and our budget, especially during COVID. I see our city as an emerging 21st century small town in the big city. That's why I'm so involved. I'm on the Infrastructure Oversight Board, the Magnolia Park Merchants Association Board, and the Friends of the Library Board, to name a few. I'm running for Burbank City Council because I care about our community, and I want to see it resilient and to maintain a high level of uh, quality of life for our current residents and for our kids and for their kids. I humbly ask for your vote for Tamala Takahashi for Burbank City Council as the next generation of leadership for our city. We're all, we're all in this together. Hi, my name is Tim Murphy. I'm running for uh, City Council. I've lived in Burbank for over 50 years. Some of you may already know me through my uh, amazing sons, uh, Sean, Robert, and Connor, and my fabulous stepdaughter, Caroline, who all attended Burbank schools. My wife, Gloria, and I love Burbank, and together we spend much of our time doing uh, community service. Boys and Girls Club, Family Promise, FSA, and other uh, charities, and also uh, work with the homeless. I worked for the Public Defender's Office for 15 years representing uh, poor people and veterans, followed by 15 years uh, as an LA Superior Court Commissioner in uh, criminal, mental health, and family law. I'm currently a practicing attorney and your Burbank City Council member. I served one term on the City Council in the early 90s during which time uh, Lockheed left Burbank, and we worked diligently to transform our business space from aerospace to media and retail. We also went on to establish the uh, Media Town Center. During my tenure, I founded the Boys and Girls Club of Burbank with many other uh, people who uh, helped me do it. In May of 2018, I was appointed to finish out the term of Mayor Will Rogers when he died in office. 
When I was appointed to the city council, we were facing a huge deficit. We worked hard to uh, arrive at an acceptable plan to get us out of uh, peril. We've accomplished a solid budget. We've created a uh, homeless uh, program that works, which is uh, comprehensive. Um, <clears throat> at this point in time, uh, I don't want to abandon the city I love in its time of need. I want to finish what I started with the council. The consequences of this pandemic on residences, uh, employees and businesses alike are devastating. I have the experience and the knowledge <coughs> working with the council to help our city out of this new economic crisis like I've done twice before. I want to continue to keep our residents and our employees uh, safe. I want to uh, plan growth with mixed uses near transportation hubs. I'd like to uh, continue to work on Burbank's carbon footprint and greenhouse gases. I mean, the state is on fire again, people. We have to, we have to do something. It isn't a hoax. There are many issues confronting us due to the pandemic. I've proven I can do the work required. I've shown that I can provide the leadership necessary to get it done. If you know me, if you've interacted with me, you already know that it's important to me that everyone be treated fairly. We are used to high standards here in Burbank, the place we chose to live, and I want the opportunity to keep those standards going. Uh, in these strange times, you look for experience, you look for qualifications. I am the best candidate without a doubt uh, please, I ask you for your vote. Give me a chance to help us out of this economic crisis like I've done twice before. Thank you very Hi, much. Hi, my name is Michael Lee Gogan. I'm a serious person who deals with issues. I will deal with all the issues in Burbank and that's why I'm asking for your vote. I'm an actor and I've been in the film business for the last almost 40 years now. And for the last two years, I've personally spoken with over a thousand residents right here in Burbank. And I've listened to every one of their concerns. I asked their opinion about Burbank and how would they like to be represented by their city council. Three words came up, protection, preserving, and promoting a Burbank. Burbank depends on a police department that everyone is confident in having. And we do have that. I will support public safety and I will support the, the fire department along with it, but I will not defund the police department protection or the fire department services. For years, family and residential life has been a desired model in Burbank. We are R1, R1H community. Many people do not want a two-story apartment complex next to their home. I will support the preservation of our city. However, there is room for some development. All stakeholders agree. If they all do that, then improvements will be a benefit to everybody. I will not support anything that increases traffic congestion, nor reduces the parking availability. The media film jobs that are in Tinseltown, just over the hill in Hollywood, they're slowly but surely diminishing, but not here in Burbank, which is great news. We need to promote our filming industry. Besides, I want jobs to stay here, don't you? We have a filming commission idea that we want to implement. And it'd be an easier way to apply getting those permits. And that would be much easier for anybody, especially our community and the film industry. So please take a moment to go to my website and look up Michael Lee Gogan. Because, you know, I gotta thank you for all your support. I want you to go to wwwgogan for Burbank. That's Gogan for Burbank. And I really do appreciate, and I thank you for your support, and I most certainly look forward to your vote. During these troubling times, it is imperative that we choose carefully leaders that support our community's values and that have the necessary qualifications and experience to manage our city through this time of crisis. Hello, my name is Paul Herman, and I'm running for Burbank City Council. 13 years ago, my wife Amy and I moved to Burbank to raise our family. We fell in love with a small town charm and unique sense of community that we all enjoy here in Burbank. 
More than anything, we appreciate the quality of life, the exceptional public schools that our two children attend, the vibrant youth sports programs, the first-rate city services, and, most importantly, the sense of security we feel here, thanks to the outstanding men and women providing community safety services to the residents here in Burbank. Encouraged by Amy, I endeavored to give back to this wonderful community that had given us so much by volunteering my time to local nonprofits, service clubs, and civic organizations. I'm proud to represent our community as a member of the Burbank Water and Power Board, board chair for the Boys and Girls Club of Burbank in the Greater East Valley, advisory board member for the Woodbury University School of Business, and member of the Burbank Noon Rotary Foundation Board. Service above self is why I give back to our community, but I do have an ulterior motive. I want to do everything I can to ensure Burbank continues to be a great place to live and work. As a small business owner here in the city, I know the economic hardships looming for us all. As a business professional with nearly 20 years of experience advising small and medium-sized companies, I am uniquely qualified to help manage our city through this time of economic crisis. I will bring my skills, my experience, and my devotion to our city to lead us through this pandemic, to build better bridges with our schools, to create more affordable housing, and to keep our community safe. That is my promise to you. And that is why I have the support of Mayor Springer, Vice Mayor Frutos, Council Members Gable Luddy and Talamantes, along with endorsements from seven former Burbank mayors. These leaders of our community, past and present, trust that I am the right candidate for these challenging times and for the future of Burbank. So I ask for your support so that I may represent you on Burbank City Council. For more information about me, please log into www.votepaulherman.com. That's www.votepaulherman.com. Thank you. Hi, I'm Lindsay Francois. Earlier this year, I was out in the streets protesting when I realized I needed a more direct way to help my community. My activism has given me a better awareness of the multitude of social justice issues facing our country right now. It's also shown me that the most effective change happens at the local level. I'm an engineer, and on every job, I have to quickly interpret complex numerical issues and devise creative, elegant solutions that are safe, on time, and on budget. My engineering background of innovative problem solving and collaborating with multidisciplinary teams makes me uniquely qualified to serve my community as Burbank City Treasurer. Burbank was struggling with budget deficits even before the pandemic produced extraordinary challenges for governments everywhere. Business as usual will be insufficient to protect the city and cannot ensure Burbank will emerge a thriving community on the other side. The next treasurer will need a scientific mindset and incredible attention to detail. They'll need to ask the right questions and leave no opportunity for improvement unexplored. That's exactly what I'll bring to the treasurer's office. The current need to reinvent the wheel of government is also an opportunity to grow. It's an opportunity to build new processes that are not only more efficient, but also reflect the values and communal aspirations of Burbank citizens. As treasurer, I will consider the entire community and steer policy towards decisions that support neighborhood values. We can never let the numbers become detached from the real people behind them. I will also ensure that the treasurer's reports are clear and easy to read. Taxpayer money should be accounted in a way that taxpayers can understand. Finally, I will implement more options for the community to give constructive feedback about those reports. Good ideas come from people who care. Everyone should have access to their local government. For the last 17 years, I have lived in Burbank or been Burbank adjacent in nearby Glendale and North Hollywood. For the last five, I have been a proud Burbank homeowner. We have seen a lot of political change over that time, but never have we faced a situation like this. An environment rapidly changing, an economy rapidly shrinking, and a presidential administration that doesn't care who lives or who dies. Now more than ever, community must be forefront. We have to care for our neighbors. We have to steer the ship. Burbank needs a steady hand on the till, one that listens and responds to 
Burbank's dynamic needs. The corner of Alameda and Buena Vista will always be special to me because that is where I was standing when I knew it was time to turn my civic activism into government action. I'm Lindsay Francois. Elect me as Burbank City Treasurer and I will go to work for you. Hello, my fellow Burbankers. I'm Darren Shea, and I'm here to ask for your vote to become your next Burbank City Treasurer. 30 years of experience in running a thriving business, strong financial background, and a true love for this community make me an ideal candidate. Why is it important to have someone who knows how to run a thriving business? Because the city needs someone who understands a thriving business. March 1999, I started my third business in my garage. Grew that to nearly a million in sales. My wife comes to me one day and says, Darren, I got two or three guys coming through my kitchen 7 a.m. in the morning. I can't do that. It's, what, it's difficult while I'm trying to get the kids ready for school. Can you please move this out to some office space? So we did. We went on to subsequently grow that business to just under five million in sales, 48 employees. This type of experience is invaluable to the next Burbank City Treasurer. Why is it important to have someone with a strong financial background? The time I spent at Morgan Stanley and Smith Barney in the 80s, 90s, 1987, stock market crash. I was buying stocks. 1997, Asian financial crisis. Then the 2000 dot-com bubble burst. The 2008, 2009 real estate crash. Those were tough times in the market. In each of those cases, those situations, I drew on my experience bought and I reap the wards. This type of experience is invaluable to the next Burbank City Treasurer. Why is it important for the next Burbank City Treasurer to have a true love for this community? I have four children, three of which have graduated from Burbank High, and the fourth will graduate next year. They have all begun to set down roots in this community. They love this community. As a father, I want to create Burbank into the best atmosphere possible for my kids and grandkids so that they can buy a house, raise their families, have those grandkids one day, and ultimately retire here. This type of love for the community is incredibly important for the next Burbank City Treasurer. I possess all these qualities. I'm asking for your vote in the election November 3rd, 2020, to be your next Burbank City Treasurer. I'd be humbly honored with that vote. For more information on our campaign, please check out www.shayforburbank.com. Good day, God bless. In 1887, Burbank was founded as a small rural community with no more than a few hundred residents. More than a century later, we stand here at this crossroads in history as we determine the future of our city, a diverse community of over 100,000, family, friends, and neighbors all looking to build a better Burbank for ourselves and for our children. My name is Crystal Palmer, and as your city treasurer, my mission is to safeguard the city's portfolio and generate investment returns that help provide the services you deserve. I am grateful for the opportunity to serve Burbank, and today I am here to ask for your support as I seek re-election this November. Despite the challenges and uncertainties we face today, over my tenure as city treasurer, I've drawn from my business and investment expertise to help Burbank achieve a $10 million increase to our city's investment market value from June 2019 to June 2020, an increase to our portfolio's fiscal year-to-date return from 2.03% in June 2019 to 2.18% in June 2020, and cost savings by streamlining operations and expanding electronic payments. I have 15 years of finance and strategy experience. This includes working as a consultant for top management consulting for Booz Allen Hamilton, where I managed multi-million dollar budgets for clients, and as an investment analyst for a New York City-based hedge fund with billions of dollars in assets under management. I received my master's in financial engineering from Columbia University, a bachelor's in management engineering, and a bachelor's in economics. I am an active member of the Government Investment Officers Association, the Government Finance Officers Association, the California Municipal Treasurers Association, and the California Society of Municipal Finance Officers. I also serve on the city's Audit and Retirement Plans Committees. I proudly call Burbank home and live in Magnolia Park with my husband, Sean, and our three children, Elliot, Grant, and Madeline. 
I have also served our community as a member of the Burbank Civic Pride Committee and the Burbank Moms Club. My fellow Burbank residents, with your vote, I will work to ensure we continue to have adequate funds fulfilling the city treasurer's mandate of safety, liquidity, and yield so that our fiscal position will support a balanced and responsible budget, programs for seniors and youth, services for small businesses, family-friendly and safe neighborhoods, and sustainable health and environmental initiatives. It would be my honor to continue working hard on your behalf to keep our investments and programs safe, to preserve and enhance our quality of life, and to build a better Burbank together. If you would like to know more, please visit palmer2020.com. Thank you.